Okay, so we're here. Um, I'm starting with this video first because I think it is the most important thing you can do is to get a hardware wallet. Start off with whatever is going to keep everything safe and secure first. Don't leave anything to chance. Don't, just don't, just don't do it. It's just not worth it. It's not necessary. It's not worth the heartache, the emotions, and the risk. Granted, there are some cryptos that are not compatible with hardware wallets, and you, you have to take that risk. But for the majority of the time, do not take the risk. Do not leave your cryptos on an exchange because that's you're using that as your wallet. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Safety is number one. Okay? Safety is number one. So let's be safe, and let's begin. So Ledger hardware wallets is... Uh, one of the number one hardware wallets. I, I use these and I love them. I love them. I have all great reviews. When I first when I first used it, uh, it takes you step by step on how to set it up. It, again, it was something totally different than I've ever done before. So as you will learn using it, it's just a different, completely different thing that you're going to have to learn. It's like, you know, learning, I guess, to ride a bike. Once you do it, once you get it, you're good to go. Uh, there's also Trezor hardware wallets. Uh, both Trezor, Nano, and all hardware wallets have a user interface application that you will use with it to actually see your cryptos. Because you can't see uh, your cryptos in these wallets. These are uh, very simple, um, I guess, like simple computers that only send and receive and sign your, uh, your transactions. So, we're at 99bitcoins.com, hardware wallets explained, reviewed, and compared. Okay, by Affair Bago. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. And this was written on January 3rd, 2021. The most secure way you can store your bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies is on a hardware wallet. A small physical device that holds your private keys offline. And in this post, we're going to explain how they are and how they work. Okay. Hardware wallets use a form of two-factor authentication known as 2FA. 2FA is also going to be used when you sign up for exchange accounts because it, you want to keep your account safe so no one else can hack into them. So uh, it's just something else to learn, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's once you learn it, you're good to go. This means in order to access your funds, you need to prove your identity through something you have, the physical wallet, and something you know, the pin code for the wallet. If you're serious about Bitcoin and cryptos, security in general, you need to get a hardware wallet. Okay, hardware wallets. As you know, stealing a piece of information from a computer isn't that hard these days. People can get in in so many ways. Someone can email you, uh, say like you won something, and then once you open it up, it can download uh, that software to your computer, and then that's their doorway into your computer. And then you can get hacked, and they can steal all your stuff. Okay, hackers may be able to control your computer or see what's displayed on your screen. And once your private key is exposed, your cryptos are no longer under your control. You could easily, they could easily be transferred anywhere the hacker chooses. To avoid this, you have two options. You can make sure your computer is completely free of malware. Um, most viruses are disguised as legitimate software or have a way to avoid detection by antivirus software or use a wallet that is immune to malware, so to speak keeping your private keys safe. That's what the hardware wallets do. They keep your keys offline and they never touch your computer. Simply put, a hardware wallet are computers that have been stripped down of all logic except for the small screen, a button or two, and the simple action of storing keys and signing transactions. Hardware wallets look like USB devices and they offer a minimalist approach to security. This is based on logic the more complex the device is, the more opportunities the hackers will have to infiltrate it. This is the ledger right here. This is the Trezor, and this is the key key. Okay. Due to simple design, hardware wallets can't connect to the internet 
or run complicated apps. They are just a form of storing your private keys offline. This approach is known as cold storage, unlike devices that connect to the internet, which are called hot wallets. All right, so how do they work? Okay, so the first thing to know is that because a hardware wallet is such a simple device, that only they can only sign transactions. It needs to use a more sophisticated computer for other functions. That's where, if you're using a ledger, the ledger live comes in. You use that application to um, see your data. <clears throat> so in order to use your wallet, you'll need to connect to a personal computer, download a program that can communicate with it. This is a bridge. Hardware wallets only allow specific types of data to pass through it, such as cryptocurrency transactions. Once a hardware wallet receives a transaction from the bridge, it signs it and sends it back to the bridge program. The private keys never leave the wallet. Again, the private keys never leave your wallet. I could not be stressing this enough. Do not let your keys leave your wallet. It's sim it's it's easier. Um, it's uh, then you think to have your private keys touch your the internet, your computer. Um, you can save a your wallet, your key information on a USB. That's great, that's wonderful, but you stick that into your computer and if you're online, it will, it puts it into your computer and um, again, you're risking your, you're opening yourself up to a risk that you should not be doing. Okay. Because of the minimalistic and simple design, a hardware wallet can be used with a computer without the fear of being hacked or infected even a public library computer or your mom's laptop. I mean, I wouldn't take my ledger with all my cryptos on it and go to the library and use it. <laughs> I would get a second one, maybe put a little bit of crypto on there if I wanted to go somewhere and use it or do something with it. But again, I, I like to take the extra safety precautions because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay, um, your seed phrase, important. Big letters, important. Setting up a hardware wallet is fairly easy. It is. The main thing to do is to write down the sets of words you'll be given when initializing the device. These words, also known as a seed phrase or mnemonic phrase, are a way to restore your private keys your hardware wallet generates. Okay. Whomever gets a hold of these words would also control your Bitcoin. So it's important to keep your seed phrase written offline in a safe place. You can have a, a hardware wallet, it could get wet and be destroyed, but as long as you have the seed phrase, you can buy another one, input that seed phrase in, and your all your information is there. It's that simple. But if you lose those keys, you are screwed. If someone else gets those keys, then they have control of your wallet, and there's no reason for that. So do not give it, do not ever, ever, ever give anybody your keys. If you were on um, Telegram, because um, a lot of different cryptos have different Telegram groups, there's so many scammers out there today, it's disgusting, that say you're having an issue and you're trying to figure out an answer to your problem. If someone calls you from Telegram, do not answer and block them. It is a scam. And if you upload your keys and they get them, holy crap, it, that's it. It's scary. But, you know, if anyone DMs you and says, hey, DM me on the side, don't do it. Just walk away. You can find answers in other places. There's so many scams out there that it's really sad. And people fall for them, unfortunately. And that's the sad part. Where wallet risks. Okay, so when you're buying it, if you buy it and it looks like this when you receive it with its hologram sticker, it's fine. It looks like this and it's been tampered with. Uh, no, it's not okay. I mean, someone's been messing with it and you should send it back and get your money back or get a new one. And pre-configured seed phrases. Your device, no matter what you get, will not come with seed phrases already put into it. You have, it, uh, it generates them when you go to set it up automatically. So if you already have seed code and phrases already on your device, send it back and get a new one because that, that means it's been messed with. And that's it. 
again, I just really wanted to tell you guys about this because it is so important, so important that you guys have safety. Safety with the hardware wallets. I, again, I can't even stress this enough, the hardware wallets. That's why I'm doing this first. Again, I know I said this five times, but it is so important to get this. I will go over also how to set this up. I just, I, um... I didn't in this video because I this is a one video needs to be done separately. I'm going to go through step by step of buying cryptos and storing them safely. Uh, sent you from the beginning to the end. I oh yeah, and that's um excuse me, that's not it. I am also starting a Patreon um, group for um, more in depth help with setting this stuff up buying setting up, securing. Um, it's not fully up yet, but it will be very soon. I'm just working out uh, how I'm doing it. Also, what's going to be on there is how to buy Theta token. Because um, I know in the U.S. here, it's, you know, not really supposed to be buying it. But um, we're on Patreon. I'm going to set that up on how to buy it. And also there will be a Discord group of uh, for people when you sign up that we can all talk to each other and... Um, you know, if there's any questions, any problems, it's a secure group, and then we know that we don't have, uh, you know, hackers or just people who are just scammers trying to steal your stuff. It'll be a closed, secure group. So uh, I'm excited for that. It's coming. I like I said, I'm just working out some of the kinks and getting that set up. So by my next video, I should hopefully have that up. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Leave any comments in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.